Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jazz, here to give you um, this glam face today, I guess. This is what I came up with. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of like sit down and talk to you, maybe get to know each other a little bit better. I have done mostly just like eye tutorials so far, so I just really wanted to like be able to do a chatty video and just kind of talk about things. So, a little less structured, and I ended up doing a full face, which I haven't done yet. So, um, I tried to talk about all the products I use, but mostly I just want to hang out with you this morning. So, keep watching, and I'll see ya later. Me and Chloe here, just hanging out this morning. Sorry for the frog in my throat this morning. I went to not one, but two concerts last night. Completely screamed way too much, and this is what's left of my voice. Chloe doesn't care, she loves me anyway. She doesn't look very comfortable, but I swear she's purring. She really likes it when you hold her like a baby. I have the new, one of Urban Decay's new primers. It's their Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. Smoothing, it has rosehip and argan oil, and it is a pore perfecting primer. Looks like this. This comes off, it's a little pump. It's really nice. So one pump usually does my whole face. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am a little bit hungover this morning. I just can't drink like I used to. I get drunk off like two glasses of wine now. Or like one glass gets me like pretty drunk. I'm going in with the, what's this by? Maybelline Fit Me Pour, Pour and Matteless. Matte and Poreless. This is in the shade 122. Oh my God, I have cat hair stuck to me. Gross. Oh, that was way too much. Oh my god. Okay. I just like dot. Oh my god. <laughs> so much. <laughs> I don't do that usually. Oh my god. I can't believe I poured that much out. I guess we're going really full coverage today on accident, but that's good because like, like I said, hungover. My skin don't look too good. I always bring it down on my neck a little bit. Why do I feel like this color is already too dark for me? Like, I just bought it. I'm so pale. I just get paler and paler by the day, I swear. I'm like, withering away. I'm an old grandma, I can't drink. I get paler every day. I have wrinkles. Like, it's terrible. You ever wonder like what you're gonna look like when you're an old lady or an old man, I guess? Am I gonna be like a good looking 80 year old or am I gonna be like terrifying? Do you think I'll still wear makeup? Probably. I'll be like glammed out grandma. I'm using, uh, where'd it go? We're using this one then. The It Bye Bye Under Eye Concealing Cream. This stuff is extremely, extremely wet, I guess. Like it doesn't dry. You gotta set that sucker. And a little bit goes a long way. Like that is all I'm gonna use for both of my eyes. Just that little boop. It's very thick and very creamy. I feel like it kinda wants to settle into like the lines under my eyes. I have that problem all the time. But I don't think this one does good at not doing that. We'll try to make that not happen with some powder. Powder with a T. I just got this R RCMA. I wanted to say like YMCA. RMCA. It's RCMA setting powder. It's the no color translucent powder that everybody raves about. I finally bit the bullet and I bought some. And I love it. It's good stuff. I've had a lot of powders. I'm always looking for one because I got these wrinkly under eyes, so I'm always trying to like find a good one to set my under eyes with. But I'm not trying to buy some $40 powder either. Too far from the camera, I'm gonna scoot in a little. Sorry that my hair is gross and I look like a naked mole rat. 
And now you have to see that. I don't think I've ever um, tried this concealer since I've gotten this powder to set it with, so let's see what happens today. This is my favorite contour right now. It is the NARS stick. The It's got contour on one side and highlight on the other. This one is in Hot Sand and Laguna. I think that this stick contour thing is really awesome for your nose. It makes it so much easier. Like that, it's just like, that took like five seconds. I have this little baby beauty blender. It's actually by Ulta, I think. Not by beauty blender. But um, I use this one for my contour because I don't want to get like the one that I use for foundation all dark with the contour color. Cause I don't clean them as much as I should. I mean, what else is new? And I'm gonna set that with a powder bronzer. Hula by Benefit. Got this sweet Cheekathon palette. That's my Hula. Yeah, it's uh, seen some loving. This one was not a thing, this was a brush. I didn't actually use a whole pan of something. I don't know if you can do that. But yeah, I'm gonna go over with Hula. Just to like soften out the edges and deepen the color a little more. The Dandelion Brush, bl Dandelion Blush from the Hula Palette. The concealer is holding up okay with this powder. I just feel like it ends up looking really dry even though it's so wet and sticky and it ends up being dry. Sorry, it cosmetics. I'm not trying to say anything bad about your products. That's literally the only thing by it that I've used. Okay, oh, I gotta do brows. Today for brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Medium Brown. Looks like this. I'm gonna set it with this e.l.f. It's just like clear. One end is brow gel and one end is clear mascara. And I've only used the brow gel side and it's gotten so dirty, but it's just clear stuff. It works really well. This was one dollar. I have like long eyebrow hairs. It's like a weird thing to say, but I do. So gels and stuff like that are really helpful for me because sometimes they just like want to go their own way and it doesn't matter what I draw under it. It still looks like not right and uneven, but that's a good one. I, for some reason, used to like hate e.l.f. I can't even remember what it was. I just remember being really disappointed with them and then I was like, done forever. Like, don't speak to me about e.l.f. So I just recently started liking them again because I realized they're really cheap and they're not all bad. I don't know, they're worth looking into. They seriously are, they're like the cheapest line. So I wanna say I had like a liquid liner from them. I remember it just being not a pleasant experience. When is liquid eyeliner ever a pleasant experience? Let's be honest with ourselves. So speaking of drugstore brands, I had no idea what I wanted to do going into this video with my eye look today, but I realized I bought the single shadow like a week or two ago and I haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna use this. It's by Wet n Wild. It's called Color Icon in brass, it's a glitter single. I feel like the packaging for it wasn't like, just like, here's a glitter eyeshadow. It was like really intense and enticing and it made me wanna try it. And it's like super duper glittery. Like there's like giant glitters in there. So I'm gonna see. I can't imagine this coming off like that. So I'm very skeptical. I can't even open this thing. Ah, I got it. Oh, and I put my thumb in it, nice. Okay, so let's see what it do. Okay, 
It's kind of like glue with like chunks of glitter. Like it was very goopy. But the glitter is coming off fantastically. Oh, there's another swatch on accident. But like it doesn't like blend out. There's no like color, it's just like chunks of glitter. Interesting. Sephora color switch, totally game changer. You need it in your life, it's awesome. I freaking use this every time I do my eyes to wipe off my brushes in between and it's so, so great. And that was the wrong brush the whole time I was doing that. I'm using the, uh, the Morphe 350 palette it's my fave, it's my go-to. It's a lot of like pretty neutrals and nudes and warm colors. Okay, so I just took a very light beigey color and just put it right into my crease and I'm blending it up towards my brow. And then I want a darker color in the same area. I'm also going to bring this into the outer corner. Um, I'm going to take an even darker color now, or darker brown, and go towards the outer corner. I keep saying outer corner. I don't, I don't like that, but I can't stop. So I put some concealer on my hand. I'm going to use this really flat brush. Now I'm going to like carve out the inner part of my crease. Not all the way, but just about halfway, maybe. Say hi to everybody. Oh, pretty doggy. Thank you. Oh, you're so pretty. Yes, you are. Okay, mommy, gotta finish her makeup now. Let's talk to you later. You can go on the bed if you want. Let's try this glitter. So I'm gonna pick another like glittery gold color from this palette and put that down first. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild brush. This worked really well before. It's like a little shadow brush. It's really flat, it's synthetic, and I'm gonna spray it with a setting spray first. And that'll really make the glitter stick. But look, it's coming off. To glittery. Let's go for it. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Okay, wet and wild. Dang. I really underestimated wet and wild. I think I just hate the name. Like wet and wild is that's weird. Right? Wet and wild. Why? Why does that have to do with makeup? I just don't like that name, I think. But dang if this glitter ain't pretty. Wow, I would say that's pretty all over my lid, right? I'm gonna bring it into this inner corner too. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna wrap it around. I used to, I used to be like a matte only person. And then one day I like put a glitter on my eye and it changed my life. I was like very like, I want to look like a Kardashian, matte and perfect. Like I want to learn makeup so that I can make my eyes look bigger. I'm not trying to be flashy. I'm just trying to look like more perfect but that is only fun for like so long and then you get in a rut with that and then you realize that like makeup is art and you gotta try different mediums and you gotta get out of your comfort zone and do some weird shit and that's okay. So yeah, basically, point of that story is glitter's really awesome. It's hard to get off though. I don't know how this is gonna be to get off. Oh my God, my nose is so runny. This is so not fun. I feel like you can never see the glitter as well on camera, but like, dang, it's real glittery. I like it. I have a really cool highlighter by ColourPop. It's called Lunch Money, and it's got like a golden tone to it. I like cream, 
uh, highlighters. So I find that they work best if you use your finger. Like I put them on my cheeks with my finger even. They do really well as eyeshadows too though. They like, they have a lot of color to them. I'm just gonna smoke out this whole under part. Grabbing my trusty waterline pencil from Urban Decay in Rail for the waterline. Okay, so the one thing I will say about this Wet n Wild stuff, it is sticky, like it's still sticky. So that same sparkly shadow that I put underneath it, I'm now just gonna put it on top just kinda to set it. Still just like, it's wet. It's wet and wild, you guys. I get it now. Are all their things wet? Everything that they make is wet? Is that how that works? You're just like sopping in makeup when you use it? People love their like $4 foundation though. I gotta get my hands on it, I gotta try it out. I could do falsies, but I'm like pressed for time, so mascara it is. I die for this. Their real mascara, it's amazing. And I have like a little tiny one of their tinted primer that I'm gonna use too. So I'm gonna go in with the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. It's just gorgeous. It's like this champagne-y kind of golden color. My good brush that I should use for putting on highlight, I use for something else. So it's just like I don't wanna, I don't wanna dirty them up. I need another one. The brushes are hella expensive. Oh, speaking of expensive, this glitter on my eyes. One dollar. One dollar. So, go look. I, I don't even think that there were any other colors when I looked. I think I got it at Target. There might be other colors. If there are, I need them. I need all of them. Okay, so, what did we learn today? Wet and Wild is cool. It's also wet and wild. Glitter works really well with the setting spray. I am learning that over and over again whenever I use glitter. But I thought I would pass it along. I need a highlighter brush. That's also a thing we learned today. I learned that this IT Cosmetics is actually not bad when you have a nice setting powder to set it with. Cool. I learned that this cap is just very annoying. It gets product everywhere. There's powder all over the desk. And we learned that Morphe 350 palette will never let me down. It's just the best. I love it. Okay, I'm cleaning up as I'm talking to you because I gotta go. I gotta go real bad. But, um, this is how my look turned out. Oh my god, I need lips. I need lips. I think I'm gonna do like a brown. Okay, let's do the bow and arrow. Okay, I think we're actually done now. Cool. I mean, we're still in the robe, but the face looks great. Actually, let's spray it all down. I'm never done. I could literally do makeup for seven hours and just like I could keep finding things to do. Right, there's never a finishing point for me. Setting spray. We're done. I deem it done. I just want to say real quick, everybody's tastes are different and I'm not trying to like tell you the right way to do makeup. There is no right or wrong way to do makeup. Makeup is supposed to be fun. Like to me, it's really relaxing. I get to just like chill and play with the things that I love. I'm never gonna try to pretend like I'm perfect for you guys. I'm not by any means. And that's why I'm like totally okay with filming with no makeup on. I'm not gonna try to hide all my flaws and my pimples and my dry skin. I'm just like another human being. I just happen to have a passion for this and I wanna share the things I do. I've done it so much that I think I've learned some things that might make things easier for you. That's the whole reason why I want to do this YouTube channel. So if you have any looks that you've seen around like on Instagram or something and you want to see it broken down and like fully explained on how to do that, please shoot them my way because I would love to do that. Um, I really want to help you guys out as much as I can. I'm not here for like product placement or 
free goodies. I mean, if you want to send me some free goodies, that's fine. But, um, yeah, I don't work with anybody. But this is fun for me, so I hope it's fun for you. And I really, really appreciate you watching this. Please subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of them. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jazz. Wait, that's weird. Do not disturb. Don't disturb the process here. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. I just ate leftover Chipotle <laughs> for breakfast. I swear there's a f hair in my eyeball. Yep, a cat hair in my eye. Oh, it's so itchy. I feel like I'm too far from, like, just almost fell off my chair. I feel like I'm always making this, like, whole table shake. Like, I'm not even touching it, but maybe I'm just so fat I make the floor shake and then the whole thing shakes. Ooh, flick at the lights! Oh, I keep almost falling off this chair. The robe and chair combination is not a good one. <coughs> I swear to God, if I'm getting sick, I'm gonna kill someone. I still feel like there's a hair in my eyeball, but I can't find it. So I'm just gonna blink profusely. Seriously, guys, there's a sauce My mini little rant is over, and so is this wet and wild look, so. Sorry, I'm like cringeworthy bad at talking sometimes.